This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. You've probably heard a lot of talk about the cloud. Well, Autodesk has gone and embraced it. Autodesk has integrated their cloud system called Autodesk 360 directly into AutoCAD. That means a lot of different things. And how you use it is up to you, and it depends on how you work and where you're going to work and what you want to do. If you go to the online tab in the ribbon, you can see several different things here. Now, what Autodesk 360 or their cloud does is it connects you. It gives you a place to store files, to work with mobile devices, and to collaborate with other people. You can also save your settings and sync that with multiple devices or multiple machines, workstations, computers, laptops, so that you can sign in and it will load things and they will work the way you want it to. So you set it up on one computer, you go to another and boom, you download your settings and you're good to go. You don't have to wonder what toolbar or palette or other multiple settings that you've done to your machine in order to get it to work the way you want it to work. That's another little side benefit. But before you can do all of this, you're going to need to set up an Autodesk 360 account. It's easy, it's free, and anyone can do it. To log in, you can just click on the Autodesk 360 button right here. Or you can click on the sign in button up here in the info center. This will tell you a little bit about it, and this will help you to sign in. Just enter in your Autodesk ID or email and your password. Once you enter in your username and password, you will be logged in. Depending on your internet connection speed, that will determine how fast or how slow in some cases that your connection will be connected. But once you're in, it'll tell you sign in complete. You can look at your profile and preferences, and it gives you a little name of who you are and what you're signed into. This will also sign you in to your Autodesk Exchange Apps account. So now that you're in, you have a lot of different options. You know, so now what? So I have an account, what can I do? Well, if I click on this button, it will open up in your default browser your account page. Or you can just go to your browser and go to the website of 360.autodesk.com. This gives you a little bit of information. You can also see your recent activity and some of the things that you've downloaded or uploaded, whatever the case is. These are some things that I've been working with. Every user gets three gigabytes of storage space with a free account. And if you have a subscription to an Autodesk product, you get up to 25 gigabytes. That's quite a bit of storage. And so three gigs is quite a bit, and you can work on a project and share files with yourself or with others, and then once you're done, you can take things off and add it up there again. Or you can buy the full Autodesk product on subscription and get a good amount of storage space at no additional charge. Autodesk 360, as it says here on the screen, is integrated into the 2013 versions of AutoCAD, Inventor, and Showcase. It's not on everything yet, but I'm sure that within time, it's going to be everywhere. So once you have everything loaded, what can I do? Well, one of the most simple and obvious things is to upload my file and store it on the cloud. Now that's great. Let's say I'm at the office, I'm working away, and oh, it's time to go home. Well, I still have a project that's due, but I need to run home. I got to help out the wife and kids. We got to you know do homework. Once they go to bed, I can do some more work at home. Well, all right, I get my jump drive out, I'll load up some files, and well, that can be a big hassle. Well, all I have to do is just upload my file. And I can do that just by hitting upload multiple, and I can upload more than one file at a time. If I have a mobile device like a, an iPad or a, another Android tablet or an iPhone, and I have the AutoCAD WS mobile app loaded on either of those devices, then I can open this drawing directly on my phone. That's really nice too. You just click on the open on mobile and make sure your account is set up. Find the file you want to load and it'll open it up on your device. 
Here's where you go to check all of your online options. This is me. This is what I've been using. I can sync my settings to the cloud. I can use the cloud storage. I can set it up so that everything I work in and when I save it, it will automatically upload my file to the cloud and uh, keep it updated. This is a great way to back up your files, you know, just in case something happens. Or you can only do it with specific items. You know, three gig sounds like a lot, but you can fill it up very quickly. So you need to be careful and manage your space and just save the files you want. Or go ahead and save them all. It's up to you. You can always remove them later. I can also sync my settings to the cloud which is nice because if I've customized anything in AutoCAD, I'm going to want to save that. It's also a great way to have that backed up. So if something happens to your machine, you can just sync it again with your account and your customized user interface settings are back the way you want them. So that's a nice little backup feature. You can control those right here. I can choose the settings that I want or don't want and then I can sync them now. If I want to share a document, I can. So let's say you have a client and you need to discuss your drawing. You're not in the same room, you're in other parts of the town, or other parts of the country, or in, even in other countries around the world. Well, that's not a problem. With the internet and AutoCAD and AutoCAD WS, you can share and collaborate with these documents very easily. So I can share this document right here. I find the file that I want to share, and I click Share Document. When you do that, this window will pop up. If it doesn't pop up on your screen, look behind. It may find it somewhere else. That's what I had to do here. Whoever I want to send it to and collaborate with, I need to fill out their email address. Whatever it might be. And then I add them to the list. So I can add multiple names, and this will tell me who has access to this file. Now, it gives them access via AutoCAD WS. So they don't even have to have AutoCAD to be able to open this file up and share it with you and discuss it. If you hit click on the Collaborate Now, it will open up this file that you're currently in in AutoCAD WS. AutoCAD WS is the mobile browser version of AutoCAD. It's not exactly AutoCAD, it's nowhere near as powerful, but it is very basic and it allows you to collaborate in real time with multiple users. So you can both access the file at the exact same time, discuss things over the phone, and make notes and changes to the file, and you can both have access to it, if that's what you'd grant them to be able to do. All of this comes via the cloud, through the internet, through this Autodesk, 360 integration that's built into AutoCAD 2013. This is the browser version of AutoCAD WS. Here's the name of the file, say who I'm sending it to, and I can share it. This is AutoCAD WS. As you can see, it's very similar to AutoCAD in that you can do a lot of the same sort of things, but you can't do everything. That's okay. It gives you enough, and it gives you the chance to make comments, to mark up the drawings a little bit, and to work with other people all at the same time. That's what you can do with Autodesk 360 or Autodesk's Cloud. You can store or back up your files online. You can access them from any workstation, you can send them directly to your mobile device. You can back up and save and sync your customization settings. You can share a file with somebody, or you can collaborate with them immediately. So there is a lot to the cloud and to Autodesk 360. You will be able to use it. It will be useful, and it's only going to get bigger and better as time goes on.